Okay, here you can see I've got my uh, clamp meter set up and everything, and I've got all the wires except common taken off of the terminal board. Now I'm going to close this switch. Okay, you see there's no amp draw, so there is no short. So I'm going to start putting these thermostat wires back on to the terminal board one at a time to try to find out where this problem is. Okay, so if you look at that board, I've hooked up the R wire. Okay, if we have a short here, and let's check this out. Okay, I do have a short. You saw my number come up there, I'll do that again. Okay, my uh, amperage went way up, so I do have a problem in R. Somewhere R is shorting to the chassis or shorting to common. Look at your thermostat. Uh, look any place where this wire here could touch a ground. Because if it touches this chassis, it's also touching the ground for the entire house. So any place along the wire or at the ends of the wire, wherever they go, it could be there. Now I would go to the, let's say I go to the thermostat and I disconnect R from the thermostat. Do I still have a problem? Do I still have a dead short? That's how I would troubleshoot that one. But, let's say I hook it up to R, nothing happens. It's fine. Then I'm going to take each one of these wires individually. Like I'll take W and I'll hook W up and I'll do the same thing. I'm not going to go through each one of these but I would take each of these wires and hook them up see if I got a short if I didn't get a short I would move on until I did once I get the short I know where the circuit is that's causing it. Okay another one let's say you don't uh, you don't get a short until the furnace starts. The furnace starts, uh, thermostat calls for heat. Then you get a dead short. Well, here again, if I have just these two hooked up, and then I hook up my W. And it doesn't short, but when I start the furnace, it does short. Then I'm looking for that W circuit. There's something in that W circuit that has shorted to the chassis or to ground. So each one of these in turn until you find it. I don't want to say this is a simple process. Sometimes it can be kind of frustrating because it takes quite a while to do using the clamp meter and the jumper wire like I'm using here considerably reduces the amount of time you spend throwing fuses away in the light because that gets pretty frustrating but uh, that's the way I check for each one of these things be very methodical when you do this because it just takes one then go on to the next go on to the next and when you find the short that's the wire you hooked up is the problem not necessarily a wire it could be a control or something that is uh, shorted uh, example probably not real common but let's say I go up there and I look at that gas valve and everything works fine until I get a trial for ignition the hot surface igniter comes on and uh, as soon as I go to start the gas valve, it blows a fuse. I got a pretty good idea it's somewhere in there, somewhere in that circuit, either wires to it or the gas valve itself. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Uh, this is one of those little things that you just got to sit there and think and work on until it works. Okay, good luck with the low voltage shorts.